Hi, this is a binary search I developed in PowerPoint. If I click on reset, what you see is all of the test content disappears. So to fill it up, just click on fill to search for whatever number, enter the value there. But before then, let's sort it. You can see it's sorted. So whatever number you want, let's say I want 977, search for it, and that's it, 977 found. You can always check to see if it's there that's it right there and the next thing I'll do now is just to take you guys straight into the development environment of PowerPoint so that you see how this application is put together in this very tutorial I'll be creating what is known as binary search so I'll start by deleting the following object let's delete this one too and make sure your developer menu is selected and right here select the label that very label I'll just call that binary search then the next thing I would do let's enter uh, a list box right here yeah that's cool and followed by a button it's called command button here yeah, we need three of those another one and one more there now we need uh, two now we need two text box one and two there I think I'm going to need one more command button right here. There. Now I have all my buttons in place. So the next thing I'll do is just to change the property of all of the component right here. So let's change all of those property right here. Select it and come up here. That's the property. And change that very property. Change the name to fill list so i will use that very button to fill in this list box and i will also call the name caption actually change the caption to fill list as well then uh, yeah then the next thing is to change the property of this very one as well i'm going to call that uh, let's call this search there and uh, change the caption as well to search to make life easy for us then the last one I just called as sort there I'll copy that it's a T Mason now copy that and just call it sort right this very list box I'm gonna call that numbers with an S and the text box this one up here sorry about that go back there that very text box call that text box show number and the next text box will be known as this very text box i'll call that search value search value okay now this very label here oh sorry command button now we change that to reset maybe just call the name reset as well there so the next thing i'll do now is just to write one or two lines of code so that the reset buttons can can work on this uh, component so i say let's double click on the reset button enter the that in there but I think that's the reset dot text equals the empty text. Then the next one will be search value dot text equals nothing. A number, I think it's numbers dot clear there. So I've sorted that out. The next thing I'll do is let's come up here. I might as well just declare my variables. I have to say option explicit right there. Sorry, wrong spelling. I think that's correct now. Option explicit. So the next thing is to declare my constant and my I've declared my constant right there. List size is 100 and I've also declared the following variables. Okay, the next thing I will do is just to create a function. Let me have, let me create a function there to get the whole system working. So right here, that's my function right there. So let's let let me move out so that you can see it. That's the function right there. So I'm gonna need two of these. Okay, you can see I've already declared a variable here. Then I uh, have used a selection statement if low is less than or greater than high. So in this case, it's to do with the numbers that uh, you have in the 
list box okay so the next thing is let me declare another function for the, for the random numbers so let me declare another function for that okay the next thing I'll do now is to random number function so let me copy that private random number that's the name of the function itself as integer okay now random number itself this very random number let's assign some value to it equals run multiply by 1000 so what we happen is um run numbers will be generated because zero and 1000 and only just 100 of those will be stored in the list box okay so my two of my functions are in place now the next thing i need to do is to go back here double click on fill and enter the following lines of codes in fill you can see i've used a for loop there for i equals zero to the file size which is up here now number remember number the list box is called number this very one that's it right there number we add whatever is generated by this function right here is added into number okay so that one is out of the way okay now that the field is sorted let's go back here and sort this out or oh, that's supposed to be slash let's change that yeah that's correct then come in here and also let's call it search so that's fine double click on the search and the next thing is just to enter the following lines of code let me move this up so that you guys can see it that's the following lines of code for the search so you can see it this code is actually self self-explanatory those are the variable high and low low is zero high is the file is the size which is right up here list list size and then the target is search value the search value that's my text box right here this very one whatever value I entered is search for okay that's what we search for and uh, and and uh, if there's a result you will see this statement will pop up found else not found okay so let's go back let's go back into the system now and the next thing is the sorting so if I enter all the numbers here and I click this I just want it to solve but right now the system will work so to confirm that uh, the program will work as uh, the sorting working the sorting is now working you see when I click on that sort is now working so let's go back into the coding area now click on sort and uh, let's bring this up so that you can see what I'm about to do let's take that up a little bit more yeah, right there. and the code for the sorting is right here let's move this up so you guys can see that's the code that I use to sort the list box or to sort the numbers on the list box that's the code so if I go back let me go up the function yeah, I'm sorry my variables the constant variable the variables declared function one and the second function the binary function I check the, the whole system and uh, let's get rid of this we don't need this ones and that's my fill the fill button that fill up the list box as a reset button the search and here that's the sorting so let's go back into the system now now that the sorting is in place let's try it again all right fill up the system sort it you see it's now in order you see that guys the next thing we do is let's search for any value there 133 let's search for that found that's it right there let's search for maybe 8 or 18 let's see if there's 18 there 18 is now found as you can see there's no 18 there let's look for any large number here 1 uh, no 9 991 991 found let's check 999 nope not found so that's how you develop a uh, binary search using a uh, powerpoint you might be wondering powerpoint yes i meant powerpoint that's how powerful that application is so the next thing i'll just do now is to make this uh, interface look beautiful so let's go back and just make that look nice 
okay this is how the background is looking right now so let's right click on on this very background itself and just change the whole style to something I don't know just change it anyway um, let's go for that why not well, it looks a bit alright though but uh, maybe this no I don't like that I don't know when to make up my mind okay that looks a bit alright yeah that looks a bit alright so I just need to now resize all of these components and then I'll get back to you guys once I finish okay fellows this are the binary sessions looking right now so let me reset click on the reset button fill it up sort enter whatever number you intend to find and click on search so before I call it by for now let me show you guys how to save it so I'm gonna go to let's exit from here and we'll go to file save ours wherever you want to save your package and I'm gonna just give it a name let me give my a name PowerPoint binary research as the first one created earlier let's just put one there that's it then the most important bit you need to do is make sure you select save type make sure you select PowerPoint macro enable and that's it click on save that's it guys it's now saved but just before I leave, let me show you guys the code one more time. Scroll down. And that's all there is to it.